Hi, my name is Sabrina. I'm 10 years old, and today I'm going to be setting up a cold card for the very first time. The three things we'll need is a cold card, an SD card, and something to hook up the SD card to the computer. The first thing you want to do is make sure the package hasn't been tampered with. Then you want to take out the cold card. Next, you want to take out the wallet backup card from the package and then get a pen. The next thing you're going to do is plug the cold card into a power brick. Do not plug it into a computer. The first time you plug in your cold card, you're going to have to accept the terms. Use 5 and 8 to scroll up and down, and the check mark to accept. The next thing we're going to do is create a pin. I've already created my pin, but I'm going to change it so I can show you guys how to do it. Now, I'm going to log into my cold card to change the password. I recognize these words. I'll, I'll tell you what they mean later. Now that I logged in, I'm going to go change my pin. For you, you will be setting up your pin for the first time. The process will be pretty much the same for me to change the pin. So for me to change the pin, I'm going to go all the way down here to settings, login settings, and change main pin. Make sure you write down your pin for the cold card. If you lose or forget the pin, your cold card will not be usable again. Now we have to enter the prefix of my old main pin. Yes, I recognize these words. Now I have to enter the rest of my old main pin. Now I have to write my new pin. It could be at the six digits. Now you have to write these words down. This word goes here. This word goes here. Now I have to enter the rest of my new main pin. Now I have to verify it. Yes, I recognize these words. Now I have to enter the rest of my new main pin. We're now all done. One thing I forgot to do was write down my device pin, and I also forgot to do the anti-phishing code words. Make sure you do that. The anti-phishing code word is connected to your pin. Any changes to the pin will change your anti-phishing code word. So now we're going to create the wallet. Go to new seed words, press accept, 24 word default, now it's going to generate all the 24 words. Remember, this is supposed to be a secret. Do not share this with anyone. And write down all the 24 words over here. Make sure you've written down all the words on the cold card. W press OK. And it'll give you a test to make sure you've written everything down correctly. So now we're going to find out. Now we're going to have to do what number 10 is. So this is number 10, season. So I'm, go I'm going to press 1. Word 15 is, and it's tortoise, so I press 2 because it's 2. Then word 3 is orange, so I press number 1. Word 8 is boil, so I press 2. Word 24 is... Fiber. 
where 13 is kitten, where 21 is crop, where 6 is C, Word 18 is manage. Word 11 is energy. Word 2 is vintage. Word 9 is same. Word 23 is nurse. Word 14 is Pigeon. Word 22 is rival. Word 5 is agree. Word 12 is pond. Word 4 is income. Word 17 is pluck. Word 7 is uh, pointier. Word 16 is state. Word 20 is tackle. Word 1 is title. Word 19 is cupboard. And now it's applying everything. And it's done. For people who think they can steal my Bitcoin, I'm going to create a different wallet with different words, different pins later on. My cold card is asking me to enable NFC slash tap. I want to keep this 100% secure, so I'm going to press no. Because I want to keep this secure and air gapped, I'm going to disable USB ports by pressing accept. At this point, we should test to see how to log out and log back into the cold card to make sure that everything is working properly. Find the secure logout option. Now it says logout done. Unplug and plug back in with the cold card. And now we have to enter the pin. Yes, I recognize these words. Now I have to enter the rest of the pin. Now that we tested that we could log out and log back into the cold card, we can continue using it. Next, we'll put the SD card into the cold card. Now we're going to format the SD card. Go to Advanced Tools. Click on File Management. Find Format SD card and select that. Press accept to erase card and wait. Now that the format is done, we have to repair the SD card to be used as Sparrow. Click on export wallet. Click on gener Generic JSON. Then click Accept and Wait.
Now that the SD card is prepared, we have to get ready to be hooked up to a computer. I am going to use this little guy to get the SD card hooked up to my computer. And now it's Sparrow time. Make sure you have the Sparrow software loaded up on your computer and ready to go. Go to Sparrow on your computer, click File, then New Wallet. I'm going to enter the name for the wallet. Press AirGapped Hardware Wallet. Press Import File next to Cold Card. And for me, I will click my SD card and then click the JSON file, click open, click apply, add a password if you want. Boom, you have added the cold card to your Sparrow. Now we have the Sparrow set up and ready to receive Bitcoin transactions. To receive a transaction, click receive on the left side and there is your address that you can copy. Now you are ready to receive Bitcoin on your cold card wallet. Now you have to set up a cold card and receive Bitcoin transactions. In my next video, I will show you how to send Bitcoin transactions. Until my next video, Sabrina signing off.